Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I'm going to show you a few basic tools and things you might want to know when you are um, going to make a web page using iWeb. Everything you see here, I've done using iWeb. It's very easy. There's nothing difficult about it, but some people may need a little extra help or tutorials. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up iWeb. Okay, and as you see here, it brings you back to the very page that we were just looking at through Safari. Over here on the right hand or on the left hand side, you have all my pages listed. I have the home page, the blog, entries, and even the blog archive. How you create things like this is very simple. You go down here to the lower left hand corner and you hit this plus button. When you do that, it brings you up an array of options you can choose to add to your page. So let's say currently I have this black setting for my page and if I wanted to create a movie or a blog, let's just say I'm going to create a second blog. You're going to select blog and hit choose. Immediately iWeb brings up a new format so you can change your blog, your new blog, and add any content you'd like to it. First thing you want to do is, I don't want this one named Blog2, it doesn't sound too original, so I'm going to name it, right click, hit rename, the new blog, and hit enter. As you can see here up top, it already has it in my navigation bar, so anyone that goes to my page will automatically see this new blog. Then down here, you can click on the entries button just below the new blog name and hit new entry. But first, before you want to, before you do that, you want to create the first blog of your posting. So we can put the new blog and we'll name it Getting Started. So as you can see here, I have my new blog and I've named it, added some text, but there's this de default picture I have here. I don't really like that picture, so what I'm going to do, I can do two things. I can delete this picture or I can drag another picture from, let's say, iPhoto there we go, show photos, okay, so I'm going to just take this photo of the sun, I'm going to drag it over to the new blog page and drop it right here. And there you have it. You have this new photo placed directly in your blog, so that's the first thing anyone will see when they open up this new page. So now that I've added my first entry successfully, you hit this button right here, add an entry to add another. Same process here. You title your blog, you can add your photo, you give an actual title to the post and you can change the date on it or the text on it. Here's one thing you can do. If you're taking your blogs from a previous website and you want to move them over to the new website, you can do this by kind of a little bit of trickery. What you do here, say I wanted this blog to post that I posted in September 1st. I can double click here and it brings up a calendar. I place the arrow on September 1st and as you can see, it changes the date format, and I just click anywhere else on my page. And as you can see, it shows that this blog was created September 1st, and let's see. And there we go. So now, if you look up here, where you can navigate and rearrange all your blogs, it posts the blogs from oldest at the bottom to the newest at the top. And being as I changed the date on this blog from September 1st as opposed to September 10th, it is below it. So that's just something else to help you out there. Another thing you can do within your blog is let's say I have a link to a popular page like I love to visit yahoo.com. Okay, well here I go. I have yahoo.com and I want to make this link 
active. I want to make it a hyperlink so whenever someone sees the word Yahoo in my in this particular page, they can click on it and it'll directly take them to Yahoo.com. What you do is you highlight the word Yahoo or you highlight any part of the text that you want to be part of the hyperlink. You go down here and click the inspector. The inspector is one of the most helpful tools using iWeb. You can do multiple things with it and it's quite amazing. To make it a hyperlink, you click on the link inspector. It's the second tab from the right. And you click this box here that says enable hyper as a hyperlink. Then you're going to have multiple options here. You can use this page, or you can use this hyperlink as an external page, which means someone else's website that has nothing to do with yours. You can use it as a file, an email message, or one of your own pages. I'm going to show you how to do one of your own pages just real quick. So we can change this, and these are all the pages that I happen to have within my website. And I can click on it, release, and it'll go to any one of those pages. But we're not going to do that. We're going to send it to yahoo.com. So as you can see, this one's already preset to yahoo.com. But let's say I just want to go to Google. I changed my mind. So you type in the Google right there. And this is something that you want to have. It's up to your personal preference, but this little button down here that says make hyperlinks active, what that does is if you click on a hyperlink within your own web page, it's going to directly navigate you to that page. It's really it's useful sometimes and sometimes it can get a little in the way of doing business. But if you want to check and see if your links are working properly, click throughout your own page and it'll let you know. So we're going to leave that as a hyperactive link. We're going to close here, and even this text here, even though it says Yahoo, it'll still take us to Google because that's the page that we put in the inspector. That's very important. So let's click on this page, and there we have it. It brought us directly to Google.com. And that is just one of my first tutorials on how to create a new blog post, add new blog names, and things like that. Hope you liked the video. Enjoy.